Alright, this ethnicity is from someone that has a lot of body modifications. They have branding, scarifications, tattoos, piercings, and they want to know how to cover them up or how to incorporate them into their look. Now, I don't know what you look like or who you are, so I don't know how to cover them up and or what you have exactly. I will say that I personally believe there are no rules for drag. Who's to say you can't be amazing with all these body modifications? No one. However, I don't know how to cover them up because of the fact that I don't know who you are. But I will say to incorporate them into your look, do Woman Got the Power songs like Pink. Do songs by um, other drag queens like Kevin Eviance. Do songs by like um, Kelly likes shoes. Because shoes, shoes. Let's get some shoes. Let's party. You know, do funny campy songs to where you don't need to take out your your body piercings and stuff. Do Electro Clash. Do do that type of material. Play your look into your genre of drag. Now, the only place that I do not think that your your body modifications would be appropriate for, and that is the pageantry system. I have a tattoo that you can see when I perform. It's on my right calf. It's two uh, male sex symbols intertwined together, permanently connected forever. And I don't cover that for performances. Granted, I love tattoos, and I, if I wasn't a drag queen, I would be covered, all my shoulders and my arms. I love them. I think they're hot. One of my dreams is to be a Miss Continental, so I'm not doing that to myself. It's okay to just cover up one tattoo. Now, as far as covering up tattoos, I love Kat Von D. She's amazing. And I would say she has a new tattoo cover-up that they sell at Sephora. And I would say that's probably pretty good. Otherwise, I would just use regular pan stick powder, pan stick powder, pan stick powder. And that's what we've been doing for a couple of years now in pageants. But no, I do think that you can still be an amazing drag queen. Look at Nina Flowers. Nina Flowers, out of drag, looks like rough trade because she's covered in tattoos. You know, but then there's another drag queen here in Fort Lauderdale named Daisy Dead Petals, who's also an icon. And a former Miss EOY. Check it out. National title holder. However, most of her costumes are long sleeve because she covers up her tattoos. Not all of them, but most of them. And you can do that too. Cover up your tattoos if you want, if you want to do something more delicate and feminine. Um, but no, I don't think that having body modifications should stop you from being a performer. I just think that, you know, that's an obstacle or a hurdle that you need to overcome and work it into your look. Be like, yes, I'm your gender fuck. You know, I'm your freak of nature. You know, look at Anastasia. I'm a freak, freak, freak. Do that song. You know, there's no limit to what you can do. Just play on it. Make it intentional. And be like, hey, who's to say you can't even do boy songs? Play the whole gender illusion into it. You don't have to be a Barbie doll to be a drag queen. You don't have to be a Barbie doll to be an entertainer. Just be entertaining. I hope I answered your question, and if you have any more, just ask.